the second epistle of Peter, chapter 1, Simeon Peter, a servant and apostle of Jesus Christ, to those who obtained an equally precious faith with us in the righteousness of our God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Grace and peace be multiplied to you in the acknowledgement of God and of Jesus our Lord, as his divine power has given to us all things pertaining to life and piety through the acknowledgement of him who called us through glory and virtue, through which the most great and precious promises have been given to us, that through these you may become partakers of a divine nature, having escaped from the corruption and lust in the world. And for this same reason also, having brought in all diligence, separate your faith with virtue, and with virtue, knowledge, and with knowledge, self-control, and with self-control, endurance, and with endurance, piety, and with piety, brotherly kindness, and with brotherly kindness, love. For these things, being in you and abounding, make you neither inert nor unfruitful in regard to the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. For he with whom these things are not present is blind, dim-sighted, having become forgetful of the cleansing of his old sins. Therefore, rather, brothers, be diligent to make steadfast your calling and divine selection, for doing these things you may never stumble. In this way, the entrance into the continuous kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, will be richly supplemented to you. Therefore, I will always be ready to remind you about these things, although you have known them and have been established in the present truth. And I think right, so long as I am in this tent, to stir you up in reminding you, having known that the laying aside of my tent is soon, even as our Lord Jesus Christ also showed to me. And I will also be diligent to ensure that you will always have a remembrance to make of these things after my departure. For having not followed out skillfully devised fables, we made known to you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but having become eyewitnesses of his majesty, for having received honor and glory from God the Father, such a voice being borne to him by the excellent glory, this is my Son, the Beloved, in whom I am delighted. And we heard this voice born out of heaven, being with him at the holy mountain. And we have a more firm prophetic word, to which we do well giving heed, as to a lamp shining in a dark place until the day may dawn, and the morning star may arise in your hearts, knowing this first, that no prophecy of the writing comes of private exposition. For prophecy never came by the will of man, but men spoke from God, being brought by the Holy Spirit.